Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the person that is retaining fluid, yet they are dehydrated. Is it possible? Well, let's talk about it. All right, before I get into it, I want to explain something. Glucose is stored in the body as something called glycogen. Okay, so glycogen is a string of glucose molecules. Glucose is sugar. Now, check this out. One gram of glycogen bonds to two grams of water. So basically glycogen is a fluid filled sponge. Okay. There's a lot of water there. So when you're running your body on sugar fuel and not on fat fuel, because you haven't discovered the ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting yet, you're holding a lot of fluid. You're having edema or swelling. You press in the ankles and you see this dent that forms. Okay. That's because you're running on sugar. Also, having too much sugar has a tendency to retain sodium and it rids potassium. So when you have high blood sugars and high insulin, you're dumping a lot of potassium, you're retaining sodium. Now the body will start diluting this toxic sugar. It's a, this is a defense mechanism against sugar with water. It'll take water and it flushes it out through the urine. This is why diabetics pee so often. This is why diabetics are so thirsty because the body is trying to take this water and flush out this sugar. Okay. So, I mean, you take a diabetic who has very high levels of sugar and their urine is filled with sugar. Okay. That's why. Now, one of the most common symptoms of being a diabetic is dry eyes. Okay. The lens of the eye is so dehydrated. It gets really sticky. It feels like there's sand in there. It gets irritated. It becomes red. Okay. I had dry eyes really, really bad when I was in my twenties. Okay. I remember we were moving uh, across the country and I packed up everything in this huge truck and pulled my car on the back. Uh, my wife was going to sell the house and I was going to move across country. So I get in the car and I start driving, right? So I'm in the middle of nowhere and I close my eye and I open my eye and it just rips my cornea because I had dry eyes at the time. So here I am in the middle of nowhere. I can't see, I can't drive. So I pull off, I find a little hotel and uh, I basically somehow parked this big truck, went in there. So I get to sleep and my eyes are closed and I'm like, okay, good. It's all healed. I open my eye and it rips my cornea again. Okay. So now it's Saturday, I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere. So I start walking down the street looking for an eye doctor in the middle of nowhere. There just happens to be an eye doctor right next to the hotel. So I go up there. They're open, thank goodness, but they're busy until Monday. Okay. So I, I just basically barge right back through the reception office and I say, excuse me, doctor, you got to help me. I need something for my eye. You got to help me. So he put me in the room, gave me some medication for the eye and I got back on the road. But the point was that that was dry eyes. I had a blood sugar problem so bad. Just previous to that, I was traveling around the country trying to fix my own health, going to the gurus. I went to Dr. Bernard Jensen's seminar in San Diego and um, he's like the author of colon hydrotherapy. Like he is the guru. Okay. I think he invented it. So I go to a seminar. I stand in line at the end for hours and hours to talk to him. And I said, Hey doc, what is this? What's going on with my eyes? You know? Cause they're all bloodshot and they're I feel like there's sand in them. And, and so he goes, he looks at it, he goes, I don't know. So he, he didn't really help me, but here's the point years later, I, after fixing my blood sugars, all my eye problems completely cleared out. So it was really the, the blood sugar issue, which I had a problem with since I was a kid that was causing that. So what will happen, your cells in this situation, will become dehydrated, yet you're going to re retain fluid outside the cells. So you can vision your cells looking like raisins. Okay. With all the fluid outside the cell. So that's the scenario. So this is just another reason why you need to do keto and intermittent fasting. All right. I will put a link down below of how to do that. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.